today's video i'm going to teach you how to calculate the discount factors without using the table in our previous class during the solution i make use of the table i make use of the discount factors table but there are some cases even in an exam they might not permit you to go into the exam or with the table or they might not even provide the table for you you understand so yeah i'm going to show you how to do that even without the table okay so get your calculator now the rate that we use in the question is 15 percent and 20 percent are you paying attention the rate that we use in the question the rate that we are given in the question is 15 percent that is the given rate and the rate that we use because we want to calculate the IRR is what 20 percent so we are still going to use that rate you understand but we are not going to use that table to determine the discount factors right now okay so the rate is 15 we have um let me just put it here the rate is 15 percent and the rate the second rate that we used during the calculation is 20 percent you understand now you see um the years for the project a and b that is our previous class please Adventure, if you missed the first class, you can check the link in the description of this video to watch the first class, okay? Um, so that you will not feel lost as we progress in this calculation, okay? Now, the rate that we use is 15 p um, the rate that we are given is 15% and the rate that we um, we used because we want to determine the internal rate of return is 20%. Now, we want to determine the discount factors using this formula, you understand? Now, let me explain the parameter that we have in this formula. Uh, discount factor equals to 1 over 1 plus r raised to the power of n. The r is the rate. Are you paying attention? r is the rate. r is the rate. And n is the years. Are you paying attention? n is the years. You know, in the examples that we did earlier, in the example that we did earlier, we are given that the years is what? Six years. The six years. And we got the discount factor of each year. Do you remember? We get the, we got the discount factor of each year. Now, let's say we want to calculate the discount factor for year one for 15% right now. Are you paying attention? This is for 15%. We want to calculate the discount factor of year one for 15%. Now, the discount factor... Let me just represent as df, okay? The discount factor equals to 1 all over 1 plus... Now, don't forget that 15%, pay attention, 15% equals to what? 15 all over 100, you understand? Okay? 15% is equals to 15 all over 100. 15 over 100 is what? 0 0.15, okay? Do you understand? 0 0.15. So, now... I'm going to substitute R as 0 0.15. Do you understand? So I'm going to have 1 plus 0 0.15 raised to the power of 1 because I want to calculate the discount factors for the first year for 15% right now. Pay attention. The discount factor for the first year for 15% is 1 plus 15% and 15% is 15 over 100. 15 over 100 is what? 0 0.15. Okay? All raised to the power of n. n is 1 because the discount factor that I want to calculate now is the first year. You understand? So for this, I'm going to have 1 all over 1, 1 plus 0 0.15. That is 1.15. And 1.515 raised to the power of 1 will also give me what? 1.15. Okay? Now, you are going to press your calculator. Okay? 1 divided by 1.15. That is... 0 0.8696 okay that is 0 0.8696 do you understand so now this is the discount factor for the first year for 15 percent if you use the table you are still going to get this answer you understand so i'm just doing this because you might not be permitted to take the discount factor table into the exam mode and you might also be permitted but you have to um know how to handle both now if you are permitted please don't refuse to take it along you understand because it will ease your operation you understand it will ease the time that you spend on calculating this okay so this is for 15 percent for the first year i pay attention when the rate is 15 percent now for the second year we are still going to 
use the same method. I will do like three years. I will do like three years. This can factor equals to one all over one plus 15% is also the same thing as 0 0.15 raised to the power of this second year now. So that will be raised to the power of two. You understand? So the discount factor for the second year will be one. Are you paying attention? One all over one plus 0 0.15. That is 1.15. 1.15 raised to the power of what? Two. You understand? Okay. Are you getting it? So for this, I'm going to have one all over 1.15 squared. What's the answer? 1.15 squared, that is 1.3225, okay? So 1.3225, um, 1 divided by 1.3225, um, that is 0 0.7561, you understand? Okay, that is 0 0.75. Six one. So the discount factor for the second year under fifteen percent is zero point seven five six one. You understand? So if you want to do for the third year now for fifteen percent, okay. If you want to do for the third year, you just have to substitute the value of n as what theory. You understand? So we are going to take this cube, um, the cube of one point one five. You understand? So you are going to get a number. You divide that number by one okay so i mean you divide one by that number you understand so you're going to get the discount factor now if you look at the solution that we did earlier you realize that it is the same answer that we got so that is how to calculate discount factor using the formula immediately you remember this formula one over one plus r raised to the power of n you are going to arrive at the same answer now let us check if we got the same answer and uh, when we use the table you understand okay now this is the table on my phone here you understand can you see the table now the when we use the formula 15 percent under um 15 percent for the first year is what 0 0.868696 now let us check 15 percent for the first year on the table 15 percent for the first year on the table now you can see that this is 15 percent this is 15 percent the first year here is zero the value of this one the value of this see we have the first year now let us trace it to 15 percent let's trace it to 15 percent this is the first year under 15 percent you can see that the first year under 15 percent as well is what 0 0.8696 you see now let us go back to the calculated um what we got when we use the formula you can see that we got the same answer now let's check for the second year under 15 percent you see when we use the formula we got 0 0.7561 now let's go to the table if you check this table you're going to see this is the second year then trace it trace it towards um trace it towards 15 percent and check the value that you have there that is what 0 point, 0 point 0.7561 you understand that is the second year under 15 percent you can see so we got the same answer you can as well use this formula but let me give you an advice if you are opportune if you are permitted to take this discount factor table to the exam mode, please kindly go along with it because it will ease your operation you can easily do this for example uh, there might not be any mark allotted to all this calculation you understand so if you are permitted to take the discount factor to your exam mode, take it. And if you are given, yeah, so be it. But if you are not, then you use this formula to get the discount factor of the respective year. Do you understand? Okay, see you in the next class. To watch the next class, kindly check the description of this video. You are going to see a link there. Click on that link. Or you should check the playlist on this channel. Okay, see you in the next class.